Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, today I wanted to go over um, the first custom uh, motive wave uh, study. Um, just going to show you what I've done in the past little bit here. First, um, I've put up at the Quant Labs channel, a call it a crash course of study for the last two days, how to build these things. So, um, the first thing is I put up a, a video entitled, um, if my browser will cooperate. Okay, let me just uh, load up the videos here. Um, so we have here something called Motive Wave Java SDK Programming Study or Strategy. So right now I'm talking about a study um, and what it entails is uh, the RSI, uh, something called the Bollinger Bandwidth, okay? And um, also it includes that you do not see visually is the uh, rate of change. The idea here is to build simple uh, studies. The coding up of it was pretty straightforward. I just copied the code of the appropriate studies of the Bollinger bandwidth and the RSI and merged them into one uh, study. So when I load it up, and this is for stock data for Amazon. So here we have uh, this uh, dialogue that I mentioned in the other video. So we have here, I gotta still fix up the labeling, but that's still kind of minor, I guess. We have the RSI labeling, we also can set parameters for the Bollinger band width, the, the rate of change as well, the periods. <clears throat> um, these are the lines and the colors. I default to these ones. These can be customized. Some advanced, uh, um, advanced uh, topics here, namely the RSI uh, levels, the top and, and bottom of the 70 and 30, and then the 50. There's also the rate of change. Again, this has all uh, been transferred over from uh, from the, um, the the default uh, strategies or studies that you can download from the Motive Wave site or the forum specifically. And also, I've added in signaling. So when certain rules get applied, combined different signals will go off, um, and then I can also build a uh, an entire strategy around this. So this is just the visuals for the, the three um, indicators or studies merged into one. So in the coding, I have, uh, I can easily modify these to whatever I want. Um, there's different ways to go about doing this. Uh, so for instance, I can change the, the level of what kind of line it is. I can change the coloring so I can see it visually. Um, uh, let me just go into the advanced. And then, um, okay, so I'm going to change these here. Uh, make it a little easier to, to see, hopefully. And uh, let me just change this guy here. Not sure what's going on with that. Okay, doesn't matter. So I'll create it. Um, and then there's a rate chain signal indicator. I'm gonna, yeah, it looks like I, I can easily break up these uh, uh, parameters and whatnot into separate tabs. So uh, th there's gonna be a lot of bugs here. This is my first time showing it. And that's, I've, I've only been at it for maybe four or five hours, so I'll have to modify this. But um, here it is. So what you're looking at is um, the RSI here, um, the bottom and the on the top. We also have down here, this is the, um, I believe the uh, BBW. Now, you might never heard of the Bollinger bandwidth, what it is, it's it's a measurement 
of uh, instead instead of using the standard Bollinger band, uh, what we're doing is we're measuring the width of the difference between the two, and as it tightens, what can happen is you can get um, a price increase as it consolidates, and uh, you know, I'll show you an example here. So uh, let me try to maximize this. This is a good like this. This is one of the better stocks here to show you. Um, now, how I found out about this was basically from a news article that I put up on my Facebook that did a comparison of machine learning, a lot of different statistical and technical different um, indicators. The thing that um, worked a lot of times is this Bollinger Band. But then he went into talking about the Bollinger Band width, which is kind of predictable. And, and the thing I like about Motive Wave is you can theoretically um, d visualize things before you go out and code them. And this does kind of work because when you look at um, just from a longing perspective, right here, uh, you can see that the price is going to increase. So somewhere in here, as these two collide uh, or, or touch each other, we can expect the price increase. Here, as they start to tighten, this right here could be your exit because you can see right here, um, there, it's, it's about to cross again. So this seems to work, but to confirm it, you have to make sure that your RSI is roughly at 50. Um, so here where it works really nice, down here you can see the RSI is somewhere, somewhat leaning towards an overbought because it's roughly, I'm going to say 60. So anywhere between 50 and 60 for the RSI plus the BBW width to tighten up and then one or the other moves higher, um, it's a prediction of the market is still moving up, um, but it's not quite overbought, and yet the BBW is telling you that it is um, like a move is coming up. And then when you start to look at here, you can see um, that the BBW crosses again, but not only that, but the real exit is when uh, you start to approach 70, because that means you, you're you're, you're getting into overbought territory, which means you should get out of the trade and exit. So you could do a run up between here um, all the way up to about, um, well, actually the entry would be in around here roughly. Um, and then you get out when the RSI starts to approach 70, which is about here. But then you're going to miss these bars here. Um, so when you when you look at um, testing this, you can see maybe just maybe depending upon the market, you get out at 75 uh, as the exit for the RSI. Okay, and you can see it kind of peaks roughly at about 75, 76. Now I can't say that will work for every single um, for every single uh, pair or every single scenario for this but it seems to kind of have some form of predictability as you can see here at uh, when, when the when the R when the BBW is at this 1.6 and then the RSI is roughly 54.1 as it approaches the 70 you know, there's some form of where it's still able to go up, and at 75, you get out. So looking at this, this is really good because now I can see if there's any uh, head fakes or false starts. So here you can see that uh, the, the uh, BBW here at 3.4 is, is still too high. It has to be a certain level in order for it to, to properly work. 
I would predict um, the BBW has to be approaching um, maybe, let's say, 0.5, and then it moves up. But you can you can visually track this. Like here, here's another good one right here, and see what happens. So our um, Our uh, BBW Bollinger bandwidth is just below negative 10. So as it starts to approach zero, or um, when you want it to hit 50 as the entry. So you catch it um, just before that big move there. And this is a daily chart. Okay, so you could have picked up this trade right here at one. Sorry, at 16.12, then it would have gone all the way up to just over 50. And uh, once you start to see that move up or move down, then you dump the trade. So you could have gone from, let's say, just roughly 16.03 all the way up to maybe 17.42 or somewhere in there. But there is some form of predictability here. Uh, here's another example right here. Another uh thing here is the um, rate of change. So if you look at um, the RSI is the dash line um, and the rate of change are these two for the uh, blue and, 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 and brown and uh, it's really good to be able to see this and track it historically. So I can't say if there's any form of predictability, but uh, like right here, our, our, um, our, uh, so maybe right here, as that's crossed, still negative. But you wait it out until it gets to, I'm going to say maybe zero or maybe a point somewhere. Uh, maybe if it starts to approach zero. But you'll miss these other uh, opportunities here. So it's just a matter of, of trying to calculate. Like here's another example. So it's just a matter of experimenting uh, what, what a good entry is. Now, it doesn't work a lot of the time. For instance, if I load in another um, chart, uh, maybe Google. I haven't tried this yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, and I'm also going to see if it works on a different time frame, maybe four hours, let's say. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Um, and I'll and I'll uh, apply that 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 study when I made. Let's see what happens. Um, so I need to apply colors that mean a lot. Uh, I'm just trying to think here. Okay, so those are solid. So that's the RSI line. And then we have the rate of change. Um, let's say, uh, I don't know. Light colors here, please. Okay, and then that could be red. Um, I want to change these to uh, dash lines and the ROC indicator. Uh, well, this is actually finally working. Call it that. And uh, why not? 
Oh, that's okay. I think my IK feed just crashed. That happens a lot for some reason. Okay, so looks like we're ready to go with, uh, was, I know Google I'm trying that with. Should I change this color? I'll make it uh, black. Okay, <coughs> so create. Yeah, it's not going to load because of good old. Uh, um, the IT feed crashed. Okay. Um, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I wish I could have a better test for you, but in the process, well, actually, we do see. I don't. I know how to cancel that. But it uh, looks like something is there, um, which is good. Um, so I'm just playing around with this, developing it. It's a very simple idea. Uh, one of the advantages with Motive Wave is that you can, like I said, combine different indicator, sorry, studies and see what works. Uh, another one I see potential with is, is uh, Hearst cycles, like immensely. But I'm trying to see if uh, you can do any form of programming with that. And that's pretty well it. If you are interested in this sort of topic, all you got to do is just go to quantlabs.net slash uh, book and uh, get yourself some free stuff from me and uh, fill all your details and then um, get books and you'll be added to the, to, the, to the newsletter every day. All right. We shall talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.